play this uh, video, and then we'll go out and uh, talk with Tom, who brought us a cool little dish for our tailgate party here on the link. Hey everybody, my name is Tom Akigami and I'm going to show you how to make some smoked pulled pork nachos for today's game. I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step on the injection preparation before we prep the meat. Today we're using the Lagunitas Little Something. I like to put cross hatches on the, um, on the fat. This is totally optional. You can do it, you don't have to do it. It's just my preference. And then we're gonna move on to the rub. Now, um, I like to use yellow mustard. You can use olive oil. Use whatever you have in the kitchen. So I start by applying some of this. This is a binder. You're not even gonna taste the mustard um, after it's done cooking. It's just so it um, makes the rub that you're putting on there stick to the meat. I like to start from the bottom. That way when you turn it over, you're gonna miss the rub on the top and it's not gonna come off when it's moving on. So, nice and even, salt and pepper. And you should get everything on the sides. Garlic powder. Now we're gonna work on the injection. Uh, we've got the IPA mix with the Lagunitas little something for today's injection uh, with the garlic powder and salt. Uh, you wanna inject in the mass of the meat, so get in there, get it, inject as you go out, and then change directions. You don't want to make too many holes in your meat or all the juice is going to leak out. Right. Directions. Just like that. Now this adds flavor and it keeps the moisture going. Because you are we're going to be smoking this for several hours or about eight hours, so you don't want it to dry out. And you want to repeat this till you get most of all the muscle and then it's ready to go in the smoker. I'm using oak to smoke today. You can use applewood, you can use hickory, mesquite, whatever you like. I like oak, so there we go. Oh man, it's raining. Got the smoker to temp, and we're ready to put them on. I got the two pork butts that I just uh, prepared, and a baby back rib. If you're wondering how that came out, you can follow me on my Instagram. All right, let's put them in. hours in um, I like to spray at about three check how everything's doing so let's um, take a look all right looking pretty good so remember what I told you about uh, saving the injection well I saved some of the injection or all of it whatever was left over 
I put it into this spray bottle. I added some apple cider vinegar and that's gonna be my spray. Couple more hours in, and we'll wrap them up. All right, we're about six hours in and just about ready to wrap these pork butts. Looking good, it's got a little bark forming. The bat is starting to crack over there. So we'll wrap it, put it back in, wait till it hits temp. So hopefully we get this done in eight hours. We pulled out the pork butt, uh, let it rest for a few hours, and it's ready to pull apart. So here we go. Masterclass in the art of barbecue from the man himself, Tom Akigami, a really good friend of ours. We've worked with him so many times, and we are proud to celebrate today's big Super Bowl with Tom himself, who actually joins us live. We're going to go outside our station right now at our KUM Super Bowl Central location. So let's go outside for Chris and Dave Delgado with Tom Akigami himself. Guys, what have you got? Check that out, man. These pork belly, there's pork, what is this, pork butt nachos? Yes, smoke, uh, smoke full pork nachos. How long did it take to make this? Usually to smoke uh, pork butt, it takes about eight hours, but um, between, you know, opening and closing while filming and, and the rain and the wind, it, it took about 10. Yeah. So I saw a little bit in that video, you had like this really cool little it looked like uh, you were about to, you know, make a table or something with a little drill or. Yeah. What was that? Thing, yeah, oh, yeah it's injector. Just, it's just a, a large injector with different needles for you know, injecting. There's yeah. a large injector here, guys. <laughs> this is, this is your large injector show. Yeah. Here. As you can see, I'm really inexperienced with <laughs> right. all that stuff. It just looked really cool. That's like cooking nachos to the next level. I mean, I almost don't want to even eat it. I, I mean, almost. It smells great. I can smell it. But not. I thought this is a great thing to have on the dish. But you know what I really love? I love the incorporated uh, little something. And this is on pizzas with a kick. This is like 80% or something alcohol. Is this it? a great? It's something like that, man. It's, a, it's one of my favorites. Um, you guys get this. Our partners at Loganitas. So how did this one play into that? Well, you know, with the with my uh, pulled pork, I always like to inject it with a, a nice... Um, clean IPA, something that's very hoppy. So I chose Lagunitas for this cook and uh, came out great. All right, so who's gonna try it? Please, guys, dig in. Yeah, Chris, you're, you're the, you're the, the uh, uh, Hey, you smoke too. Yeah. I'm the eater. Yeah, uh, you know, smoking pork, yeah, that's, that's the skill right there. Look at the way it just, the meat is just- uh, What's the sauce on here, Tom? The uh, lime crema sauce, so it's, um, <laughs> Sour cream, cold cream, and um, lime juice. 
with a little bit of barbecue rub, just mix it up and then okay. put it right over here. Now, what's the drizzle stuff right here? Yeah, that the, yeah that's the one right there. It's the chat. There we go, guys. I'm just going to try this out just a little bit. You know, I normally don't eat this type of stuff for breakfast. <laughs> The eye roll, the eye roll, that's the one right there. Oh, oh, oh. oh no, no, The winner, winner, winner. No, So who are you going for today? Um, teams or, or, or Bucks? Maybe Kansas City. Kansas City, why? I don't know. <laughs> Just cause, right? Just cause. Yeah, we're going Bucks, Bucks. Yeah, we already know why he's a buff going for the buff. Yeah, I can't go with the Chiefs. Me, I'm going for the halftime show. So, mm -hmm. anyway, we'll put it back inside. Jay. Okay, so that is just the tip of the iceberg yeah, in the know. huge amount of content we have ready for you today as we get ready for kickoff, which is at 9.30 a.m. for the big Super Bowl. It is the Kansas City Chiefs going up against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. A whole lot more is coming up here, plus more trivia, more chances for you guys out there on the internet to win some cool food prizes. So please stay tuned. Our Super Bowl